John, was it was there a big difference between yesterday's round and today's round? Do you, you feel? The only difference is uh, I was able to hit it on the fairway more often. That's that's truly really it. Everything, every other part of the game felt pretty much the same. What was what was working so well for you out there today that you thought? It wasn't anything special. Uh, working on a couple of things to improve what the game has been the last few weeks and. You know, it's easy to do it in practice rounds. And yesterday, I was still a little hesitant. Today, it was obviously much better. Is this a golf course you feel like you can be aggressive on? It seems like scores get bunched up and guys all kind of run with each other. Is that, is that kind of the idea? I think you have to be aggressive. If you, you have to keep an aggressive mindset, no matter what you're using off the tee, you have to put the ball in the far away and then afterwards, you have to attack. It's, there's always going to be somebody having a good day and shooting 65 or lower. I mean, it literally happens every day, no matter the conditions we play in, right? So if you're the leader by one, you got to expect people are making birdies. That's just kind of how it's, how it's going to be. So yeah, I think uh, to one extent, you, you, you have to be aggressive. Just curious about the course and, and how it's playing. Is the heat make it a little bit easier, but not necessarily easier, but they have to keep water on the greens. And this is the firmest I've seen this greens ever, by far, firmest and fastest, yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm guessing they're trying not to have them to be too firm and fast, because obviously there would be a lot of pin locations that would be unplayable because of the slope that these greens have, right? So they have to maintain them to, to a certain firmness, but We've definitely played these a lot softer in the past, a lot, a lot softer. So it's, it's nice to see it a little bit different for a change. John, I think it was 12, but you fist pumped it. You fist pumped a par putt. What was it about that? that uh, 14. 14, sorry. Yeah, it was a solid 12, 13 foot par putt to, to keep the momentum going. Uh, it just felt good to not drop one. You know, it wasn't the worst t-shirt in the world, had no chance of hitting the green. Another tough lie afterwards, and you know, um, Sometimes you can fix a hole with a good putt, and it just, it just felt good to to keep that good golf, good golf going because I played really good up to that point, and that was really the first um, tough par putt that I had. Well, you've been in the you've been in the throes of this from a from a couple years ago. What's the what's the pressure like for the chance to win on Sunday compared with uh, other tournaments? I different? think in, I think in the moment it's pretty much the same thing. It's just still playing the tournament, you know. It's still. I think it's the same thing. You're not really thinking about winning, not everything else, right? So when you're done in contention with the best players in the world, I think it feels pretty much the same no matter what. Uh, maybe if it's a major, you're a little bit more aware that it's a major, obviously, but uh, I wouldn't think I wouldn't think it's you know really that much added to the situation at the end of the day. You know, the shot is the shot. What's the most pressure you've ever felt? On the golf course? Yeah, of course. I figured it was the golf course. Uh, I'm going to have to think a little bit. Um, I, obviously, at some point this year, the Masters up there, Ryder Cup as well. Um, quite a bit of nerves when I missed that short putt against Tiger on 16, going to the 17th hole. Um, obviously, the US Open as well. Majors, I would say, obviously, Majors, Ryder Cup were going to come to mind, right? Those are the biggest moments, and uh, I would say, I don't know exactly at what point during the round, but uh, if I had to pick, I would say probably at some point during the Masters this year on Sunday. Early in your career, when you're first starting out, did you ever think about the money in yeah. terms of, you know, if I miss this or make, no? You think it's important? It's one of the things that frustrates me about watching this broadcast. Like, we're not thinking if we miss a putt how much it can cost us money-wise. No chance. Like, none whatsoever. Like, you're trying to finish as high as possible. You're trying to win a tournament. It's, it's one of my pet peeves when they make this tournament all about money because I think it takes away from it. You, right? you can when you win a green jacket, yeah. I can tell you right now that any major champion this year might not remember how much money they made. Right? And that's the beauty about this game, and I think that's kind of how it should be. Uh, obviously, I'm saying that being in an extremely privileged position financially, right? And at that point, from first to second, you're making a ton of money. So it's more about winning than, than the price itself. But you, you can, when you're a young guy, though, and money might, the difference might really matter. If you don't uh, have no, any. No, I mean, my first pro event, 
I was flag hunting on the on the last few holes when had I finished solo second, I would have earned my tour card, and I think I finished tied for third. I ended up ending, earning it a couple of weeks after that, but I was going for the win, yeah. and that's. Right, if you want to be great, a great player, you're gonna have to go for the win instead of yeah. thinking about your bank account again. When I turned pro, I was already in a privileged situation because of what I'd done as an amateur. So some brands took a chance on me, and money wasn't an issue, luckily. Thank you. Thank you.